Here's exactly why I call my mother toxic, a toxic narcissistic mother, instead of calling her a mother. If you paid close attention on my channel and close attention, you know exactly how she treats me, how she feels about me, what she thinks about me, how I think about her, and how the situation has been going. And up until this point, y'all, I feel like I have realized in myself and in life that I have everything that I need to be successful because of her. So I'm thankful for her and I respect my mother, but I'm very mad at her because... Like, nowadays, she gets groceries, and she will not get groceries that I, I am in favor of for so I can cook. She will buy groceries that she wants, which is, like, sweet potatoes and all this shit that I do not eat. Like, that's what makes me cry and get so mad. Because she's very selfish, and I see that she's all about herself now that her children are growing up. And that's not a way to be once you get grown kids, like everything is on them go find it yourself blah 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 it's not fair to me because i know that there's kids out there who still get babied at 22 by their parents and that's just not the way that i'm growing up so it makes me jealous and upset and even more mad at her now what i meant by the beginning was that obviously i have a provider like someone that takes care of me and that looks after me but I do not have a mother. And I stress that all the time because I'm realizing that I go to other women for approval and seek validation just because my mother doesn't, my mother fails to be a mother. And being a mother is a hard job, but it's not a job that is for the weak. And that's why you have to be a mother. Like being a mother doesn't mean you just provide and do the necessary. Being a mother means that you be a mother. And that's all I wanted.